Hi, I'm Kyle Gorman with the Employer Blueprint, and we've talked before about how to get hired, and we've talked before about top interview questions. So today, let's talk about what not to do in the interview. So hopefully you've already checked out the other videos on some top five interview questions and you're prepared and you're polished, you're ready to go. So what can we make sure that we don't do to help us reach to the next level? The first thing is do not, do not be late. When you have that interview scheduled, if it's at two o'clock, you need to be there 15 to 20 minutes early. Make sure that you are prepared, make sure that you're ready, and here's why. Because it may take you a little time to find a parking spot. It may take you time to find the exact building or maybe the office location of where this company is. And even if you know 100% exactly where they are and you know how long it takes you to get there, you may run into traffic. There's always other things that come up. Don't be late. And if that means you go sit in your car for 10 or 15 minutes before you go in, that's fine. But you'd rather do that than to take the chance of being late to the interview because now you've already set the precedent that your time is more valuable than their time and that's not a good way to reach the next level in the interview process. The next thing I want to recommend is don't underdress. And I've often heard the recommendation that uh, your attire should match the company culture that you're interviewing with. I'm going to go on record to say I disagree with that. I think you cannot overdress for an interview. Now, I'm not saying put on a tuxedo. What I am saying is, if that company culture is uh, shorts and polo shirts, and you come in in a suit, no one's gonna think otherwise. But the flip side can absolutely happen. If that company culture is shorts and a polo shirt, and you walk in maybe a suit with no tie, they may look at that and say that that's kind of your personality, that you're just a little more casual, and that just doesn't fit well with them. So don't underdress. Um, there are a lot of resources out there on how to dress for an interview, but when in doubt, be very conservative and make sure that you're a little bit overdressed, if anything, for the interview process. It's worth the money to go find yourself a suit and find yourself a tie to make sure that you actually have a chance of getting that job. The third thing that I'm going to recommend to you, an absolute must, is don't complain. Stop complaining. So many times people get in the interview process and they want to complain about their, their current or their, their, their previous job or their old boss or they want to complain about the way that their uh, co-workers are. This is, this is a terrible way to set yourself up in the interview process. Now, it, that doesn't mean that there aren't some times when it's appropriate to explain certain situations that you've been in or maybe you know, talk about the reason that you're interested in leaving because of the drama that's happening. But, but what you do when you start complaining about these things, especially as you start to develop a trend and the people sitting in the interview understand and recognize that that may just be you and the way that you want to complain about things, the way that you see the world, as opposed to a bad company culture that you're in right now. So stop complaining. Find the silver lining. Talk about what you've learned in these situations instead of just complaining about how other people are. You need to find that opportunity to spin it around to you and how good you are and the contribution you're going to be able to make to their company. And the last recommendation that I make is don't act. And you know, a previous video that I did, I talked about being honest uh, through the hiring process, and this is very similar. You need to, we need to see who you really are. Don't, don't put on an act. Don't try to be who you think we want you to be. Be who you really are. Because part of what people are looking for through that interview process is, does the company culture gonna match the personality of the person that we're looking to put in there? And so don't try to be somebody else, just be you. And this is for your own good. It's not about landing this job. It's about landing a job with a company that you really fit in and that makes sense for you. So you want to be who you are. Don't put on an act for anybody else because this is going to be for your good long term that you are going to find that company that your personality fits in. So these are some basic things that you do not want to do if you've already made it to that critical step of getting the interview. Again, I'm Kyle Gorman with the Employer Blueprint. Be sure, be sure that you share with others that could use this information and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. Thanks a lot and have a great day.